What? Well, hello, hello, all my amazing Zodiac friends. Well, more importantly, my beautiful Virgos. Now, my name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, I've already pre-shuffled. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family. And I apologize in advance for the background noise or the light behind me, okay? Now, let's get going, shall we? We're going to talk about your past energy. Your past energy is the temperance card, okay? Temperance card signifies balance, alchemy, and cooperation. Are you dealing with a Sagittarius? Now, mixing human blood with zombie blood is typically a recipe for disaster, but in certain controlled circumstances, the results can yield a miracle vaccine. The temperance card calls for balance and, and compromise. Now, you need to get closer to your enemy if you're going to understand what makes him or her tick, and you may need to join together to resolve your differences. All right. Now, your first clarifier to that is the Hermit card, okay? Now, this card signifies solitude, respite, and self-reliance. Now, Virgos, we need some time to ourselves, but just because you hear that undead knocking doesn't mean you need to open that door, all right? Um, a much-needed break helps you to recharge before heading back out into the ruckus of the zombie apocalypse. Take a few deep breaths before you open that door. What's that smell? The odor of power? Oh, my friend, and a pile of d dead corpses in your backyard. All right, let's continue. Your second, cl your second clarifier to this is the Page of Wands. This card signifies youthful, high goals, and a need for growth. Now, Virgos, this little charmer doesn't let a little thing like being confined to the high chair hold him back. He has his eyes on the prize and won't stop until the he acquires it. Now, he's hard to resist and his youthful innocence may coax you into helping him get what he wants. Hopefully, it won't cost you an arm, a leg, and maybe a left nipple. But, he has a habit for biting off the hand that feeds him, so be very leery. This card may herald the need for growth to things, uh, to do things yourself and not be reliant on others, alright? Your third clarifier for your past energy is the Fool. Now, the Fool signifies new journey, first steps, and hasty choices. Now, our hero begins his journey with a spring in his step and a healthy set of blinders, unaware that zombie claws are reaching for his or her feet. You, Virgo, are bound to make plenty of mistakes in your new adventures, alright? But your enthusiasm might be enough to carry you through a bumpy beginning. Try to pay attention to your surroundings. Are those storm clouds on the horizon? Are they? Are they? Alright. Your current energy is... The Hierophant. The Hierophant signifies truth, advice, and education. The truth can be hard to swallow, especially if you're missing part of your esophagus, but pay attention to the messages that you receive. Though they may be alarming, you'll need the information to make wise choices later. And with the city under siege, there's no telling how long the, this reporter will stay on the air, alright? Your first clarifier for cur your current energy is the Lovers. Now, this card signifies romance, sex, and blinded by passion. Decisions, decisions, where do you start, the head or the heart? The Lovers are dualty in motion, and you must make up your mind before moving on to the next phase. If you decide to overlook that your new lover is one of the undead, don't be surprised when he or she rips out your heart. Maybe it's better to leave this relationship behind. It's starting to stink, alright? I don't your next clarifier card is the Eight of Hazards, invention, ingenuity, and new approach. The Eight of Hazards demonstrates the need to think outside the pressurized expansion tank. If a current endeavor is failing or stalling, try rewiring the brain or you know, to explore new possibilities and different angles. Don't return to the same tactics over and over. You need to put your talents and imagination to better use. All right, Virgo? Your last clarifier for your current energy is the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man signifies a turning point, acceptance of a situation, and sacrifice. Now, the Hanged Man has sacrificed himself distracting the zombies so that his friends might live to fight another day. But not every sacrifice is necessarily terminal, alright? There's a good chance that you've arrived at an epiphany that will allow you to continue on your path. It's time to discard old ideas and move on. Often, this is the only way to set yourself free, all right? All right, let's talk about your possible future. Now, 
Future's not set in stone. All right, it's not set in stone. You can change it, and you know, keep evolving and growing. And you don't have to sell for nothing less but the best. All right. Your future, your future energy is the world. All right. This signifies lessons learned, end of a journey, and completion. It's the end of a cycle as the world goes up in flames. Our two lovers are safe in their fallout shelter, ready to meet the new day and begin the fool's journey all over again. The world represents the achievements of a goal or the end of a stage in your life. Where do you go from here? All right. Let's talk about the clarifiers next. The Queen of Wands is your first clarifier. All right, for the future energy. This card signifies caring, self-sacrifice, and fury. She's always there to lend a hand, even if it's not attached to the rest of her arm. The Queen of Wands has your best interests at heart, though she may be difficult to deal with because she often focuses on miniature instead of the big picture, all right? Learn to work with her temperamental ways instead of butting heads. She's not going to budge. Oh, no, she's not. All right, let's talk about your second clarifier. Your second clarifier is the chariot. The chariot signifies travel, progress, and conquest, right? Now, the chariot signifies movement. You know where you are headed, and you know precisely how many zombies you'll need to mow down to get there, Virgo, all right? Your hard work is paying off, but don't lose sight of the road that brought you here. You are considering a large purchase, such as a new car. Perform due diligence and make sure it has plenty of extra legroom, all right? Now let's talk about your final clarifier. Your final clarifier is the Seven of Hazards. The Seven of Hazards signifies patience, gain, and progress. The test subjects are improving and your persistence, Virgo, will soon pay off. This current endeavor is still in progress, but you're pleased with the results so far. The only thing left to do is wait and keep the doors bolted. Through careful planning, you'll soon reach the light at the end of the tunnel, all right? Very awesome. Now, let's talk about everything in one whole swoop, right? Okay, so you were dealing with a you were dealing with a Sagittarius, right? But you ended up going into um hermit mode, which ultimately at the same time led you to think that nothing's going to hold you back even though right now you're resting and recovering. You're doing you, you're pampering yourself. Ultimately, leaving this um, past energy will lead you to becoming the fool and escaping that chaos, right? New beginnings. Your current energy is that you are, <sighs> you're dealing with a higher font, you're learning, you're gaining knowledge. You're not sure if you want to continue with what's ahead of you, right? You're making decisions, progress, getting advice, learning. You've got lovers, right? You've got someone, and um, maybe they set your pants and your heart ablaze, right? And your soul. But is there anything concrete beyond this, or is it just all passion? That's what this card is asking you. Do you have anything else concrete? You're experimenting, you know. You're coming at it at stuff at a new angle. You're very, being very self-sacrificial, which means that you are you are sparing your time, your precious right. moments for a situation, right? You know, instead of getting up early in the morning and um, taking a quick shower, what you'll do is you'll let someone else take a shower this morning, right? You know, instead of having everybody else cook food, you're taking the time and energy out to cook food for everybody, showing them that you love them, right? Making sacrifices. Your future energy, which is not concrete, and remember, this is if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, is the world. Shit's happening and you're bunkered, bunkered down here, right? You're kind of safe from the chaos. You've got the energy of the Queen of Wands. She's very, she's also very, very fury, very kind, and she also will lend, you know, whatever you need a hand, <laughs> even if it's not hers. 
you're leaving, you're going somewhere, traveling, right? Or somebody's traveling towards you. But ultimately, your goals are being achieved, okay? You know, you've caught, you're just, you're bunkered down, and you're trying to get your shit together. All in all, this is a really good reading, you know? I mean, if you're enjoying it, you're going to have a great day. I love you. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share, and join me again for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope or next time's Tarot, okay? I love you, Virgos. Bye.